Today we are continuing our playthrough of the Descent into Avernus. Um, Alright, where were we last week? Um, the party had been hired to eradicate the remnants of the Cult of the, of the Dead Three. Uh, found out that they were located under a bathhouse. And you guys traveled to the bathhouse and found the secret entrance and started working your way through this uh this underground uh dungeon where these cultists were hanging out um it's not been very pleasant working our way through as these cultists are you know quite deadly some of them having unnatural gifts and abilities gifted to them by the uh unholy creatures that they worship and after a very very harrowing fight with several of the uh i don't know seemingly higher ups within the cults uh the party has taken a short rest um i'm not missing anything right that sounds about there is yeah. the entire chamber full of explosive gas over here oh the, yeah that is true uh so after the fight we we opened up that door and uh, noticed a very sulfury smell. And I believe it was uh, Marcus. He jammed a pitten in the door to wedge it shut. Well, what we were thinking at the time was that uh, since Klim is stuck there, and all of our efforts have been for naught, that unfortunately for us to move on and possibly find a key to his shackles, we've had to leave him here. So instead of leaving two ways to get to him, we leave one way barred, possibly with a couple of javelins shoved in to wedge it shut. And that's why, if anything starts moving that way, he can start yelling, and we can clear this way. Okay. Um, we did also pretend, I mean, I'm totally chill with the idea of the 10 foot pole and shoving the lantern in there and saying if it goes to move. <laughs> and we are moving. <laughs> Oh, I don't think that's an option anymore. The door is wedged shut. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, so moving down. Oh, there's only the one exit here, huh? Yep, and we had not yet explored that way. Okay, uh, yeah, everybody can move into position, and then who's opening the door? Uh, looking back, uh, how bad is everybody Gizmo, thank you look? for the reset, brother. Yeah, two years. I'm fully here. an amazing time. Thank you so much for... I'm, I'm ready here. for another round. All oh, right. but I'm squishy. Close. Yes. I, I'd recommend you take a step back. I could wild shape into something that has some fun HP. You only took a short. I'd conserve those resources. <laughs> that is true. Yes. Yeah, me smashing hammer. <laughs> uh, I'll go first. Uh, dwarf got my back. Okay. Uh, there's the door, and I believe you can see that the hall kind of splits off to the west and to the south. All right. Assuming the one that goes off towards the southeast is probably going to loop back around to that door. So. Right, it is. Okay, and stop right there, because as you step out and look around the corner, you can see that the room uh, ahead of you is partially collapsed. Um, it, it was probably much larger at some point, but all of the dirt and debris uh, has crumbled and, and destroyed much of the chamber. Um, what you can see, though, is there are several wooden beams supporting the room, and situated between all the beams is a scorched wooden table with a human corpse resting on top. A frighteningly thin woman in a black robe is studying the corpse, her face largely hidden under a big cowl. And around her feet creep a swarm of skeletal rats. They just kind of scurry along, clicking and clacking. And as you round the corner, you see her look over her shoulder towards you. You can see uh, a part of her face. Her skin is unearthly pale. You can see the veins and, and all the uh, her vascular system in her face. And as she parts her lips in a rotted smile, uh, 
you get the sensation that something is terribly wrong. All right, Roll so initiative, we, everybody. We, <laughs> yeah, shield up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, three, six. All right. So Thorin, uh, from where you're standing, you see Marcus walk ahead. You see him look kind of down the hall, and then you see him kind of lift up his shield and, and ref reflexively hide behind it. You're not sure what's I... down there, but <laughs> it can't be good. <laughs> Can I, I think I can fit through that doorway without having to Sure. Well, you can move through uh, enemy or through allied units, or you can even move by diagonal. That'll work. Oh, that's no good. All right. Uh, I draw my crossbow, and I shoot the lady. Focus, focus. Here goes your focus. Ooh, that is a hit. 21. And then I duck back around the corner. Uh, Nanny? Way in the back. <laughs> ah, way in the back. I don't even see. Um, so I can go through my allies. So give me a minute here. How do you, how would you do the thing in roll 20 where you can kind of plot your movement again? Uh, you right click. Down? As you drag your token, you just right click and it'll put a plot point. This is where I ripped the party. <laughs> okay, so that's five. I can't eat, can I? Ten. It's twenty. Wait, can I get all, I guess I can, all I can do really this turn. I'm just going to get over. Where did I go? Uh. All Look, right. Dashing, you could either go, um, what was that? Ten, twenty, thirty, five, or... 35 like you go in either direction i'm gonna stay right here with my dash and just just stay right here i'm good i'm good Alrighty. how about you flynn all right well flynn's gonna ozzy you know it's not coming quite as much movement but you know what he's gonna dash so it's <laughs> okay. fine i guess i should have gone diagonal <laughs> so i'm gonna dash down to here um and I'm gonna. That's it. I'm just gonna take the dodge action. Dodge action. Okay. So now it's this creature's turn, and she finishes turning towards you, and you can see, she she, she has the appearance of the dead, although, you can distinctly tell that's not the case. She just, um, like I said, her skin is very pale, almost translucent. And um, she seems impossibly old. Her skin is wrinkled and sallow, and it clings to her skeleton, almost looking like she's an animated corpse. And as she turns towards you, she dips her hand down into the corpse on the table. She brings it up, and, and in her palm, you can see the viscera and all the gore. And as she holds it up, it bursts into flame. And then she throws it towards the party. And I'm going to need a bunch of deck saves, please. I was wondering if I could see a little bit of red out in the corner. Hey, you. <laughs> Shh. No matter. Also, be thankful. <laughs> I got back just in time, just to make fun of your fireball. Ah, that'd be so nice. Am I within range of this fireball? Absolutely you are. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah. no. Um, the, wizard, the wizard be down. I would think yeah, the would nanny, be in the front. Yeah, the nanny be down too. The turtle be down. <laughs> also, I can't see the turtle. <laughs> Well, Marcus, we it looks like it's up to us. 
as usual. <laughs> What's funny, it, that is like the weakest fireball. <laughs> yeah, that could have been way worse. I was... I, I was just joking, like saying, like, well, this could be a very, very quick session. <laughs> uh, let's move that out of there, because that's over. And uh, as she throws this fireball and, and all the bodies drop to the floor, smoldering and unconscious, uh, you can see a ghastly smile across her face. And then we're going to pass it to Alicia, who's going to make a death save. Gotta clear my prior death saves out. No, that'll work. Ooh, we are off to a great start. Yuck. Yuck. All right, Marcus. Well, get busy oh, living. I didn't even put the right to busy the... dying. Get in there. He's gonna poke, uh... Um... Yeah, that the closest. Gotta start getting people up. Nanny, you have the one and only Leon Hands that I have left. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. Ever step down too? Her. Oh god. <laughs> so Nanny's up, and he is going to step forward and interpose, standing between uh, the Ratzos and the party. Okay. Jabber. Ugh. All right, the skeletal rats, um, all, as if following some kind of telekinetic, uh, telepathic, who kinetic is moving stuff, uh, some kind of telepathic command, they seem to surge forward, moving as a group towards Marcus. And they are going to bite. And they miss. All right, shield down. Yeah. Thorin. I uh, guess I'm stepping back out, and I'm going to shoot the old lady again. That's a miss. And I'm going to step back out the door. Death save from Nanny. She's conscious. Nanny has one HP. Oh, she didn't restore her... her... Sorry, sorry, my, my roll 20 kill, died on me, so I'm refreshing everything. Do something, elephant. <laughs> the party's um, begging you. Okay, I would like to. I would like to thorn whip the crazy, creepy thing, person, dead thing. Sure. That that is sure. We'll we'll, we'll thorn whip her. Do you need me to roll it, or are you okay? You were back. Okay. Uh. Yep. That is. She gets whipped. And I would like to pull her ten feet towards me, please. Yep. Away from the corpse. <laughs> All right. Uh, and that'll be my turn. Cool. Ed? I'm gonna roll a death save. Yep, 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 yep. Flynn? All right, well, Flynn's gonna uh, draw his crossbow and just take a shot at the... Uh, at the caster one. Uh, hit. Sorry, ignore ignore the one. I don't have my um. Yeah, elements. Yeah. My uh, in my yeah. All right. Uh, Anything else? Then, yep. Run. He's just gonna run duck back around the corner here. So, uh, having been repositioned away from the corpse, you you see this thing looks around. She lifts up her hand. And closing all the fingers very close together, you see her kind of lift her hand up, and in like a scooping motion, she stabs herself into the st in her own stomach. And then she there's a tearing sound as she holds more gore up. Once again, it catches on fire. Oh, <laughs> Are you <no>. serious? <laughs> oh, do I it am. to us. Bye. <laughs> do it to us. Shut it, oh. Turtle. You're unconscious. Uh, <laughs> oh, that'd be terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, she has the spell thousand slide. tiny death slash. She packs. does have the spell slot. I totally could. 
But no, I'm not that malicious. Or am I? Um, Just do it to us. We can take it. We can take it. No, we can't. No, I don't think you can. I'm pretty sure no, it would insta kill would give one, me two, two more death saves and three, I'd be dead. Or yeah, every everybody would die. Um, our master of souls is not going to do that. Instead, uh, she's going to do a much more reasonable, much more manageable scorching ray. And we're going to go, uh, Marcus, you're big and intimidating and holding a shield. We're going to go, Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. A disadvantage? No. He's not that dodging. Yeah, I had to use my action getting you up. So, so two hits. Eight total. Okay, and da, da, da. oh, It'd help if I move the tracker. Uh, then it is Alicia's turn. I don't think it matters. Well, it does matter. Who do you want to give it to? Two down. Oh God. Yeah, fireballs. Marcus. Elephant. Uh, oh, I already rolled the save. Jabber. Woo! Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Hi. Uh, rats. Actually, I don't know. If they can... uh, swarm can occupy another creature's space and vice versa. Move through any opening large enough for a tiny rat. So they're all just going to scurry forward. They go underneath your legs. And, uh, and then we're going to attack Nanny. Ha! Battle hit. Oh, God. And she's down. And I'm down. <laughs> well, this is not going well. Gnome, do something. And then I'm going to try and medicine check Alicia behind me. All right, she's stable. Uh, stable. Let's do heart. And that's the end of my turn. And he's down again. Death save. Ed. All right. Natural twenty. Oh, that was almost. All right, Flynn, it's up to you. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is this isn't fun. All right, so I guess Flynn's gonna move up to here. He's gonna go ahead and try and hit the rats with a with a shocking grasp. No, sir. They, they don't. They don't happen to be made out of metal, do they? Oh, yes, they are metal skeleton rats. I would uh, like to mention their teeth are very high in iron content. Because that would give me advantage. But okay. Uh, well, I'm not moving like this to that. Uh, I guess that's it. All right. Uh, you see her disappear around the corner. Really disappear because the sight barriers are, are not wherever. And she damn it. She is going to cast this spell at that guy. Which by that guy, I mean the only one who's still up that she can see. You Oh. Got a dirty 20 for 11 necrotic? Jesus! Ooh. 
Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Alicia. I'm unconscious but stable, correct? Oh, you are correct. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that. someone gave you a net twenty, thinking you were going to. Uh, <laughs> you could be like, "I'm going to net 20 and then, <laughs> but you don't get to roll. Um, You're stable. <laughs> yep. Which she will come to consciousness in how many hours? I'm fix that. Roll a net twenty. Let's see. <laughs> All right, Marcus. Jabber. I don't want to. <laughs> I wish I could apply my nat 20 to him. <laughs> That's not how it works. Okay. <gasps> Woo. Another round. <laughs> oh, well, there, uh, right before you rolled, uh, Twitch Gods, heal for three for Jabber Jaw. Twitch Gods want us to stall. <laughs> All right, the rats. Uh, the rats. This guy is still pretty healthy. I don't think he's scared enough. Let's attack Thorin. <laughs> nope, that's a miss. You mean nothing to me. And now that I've at least got two teammates, okay? I don't care about the turtle. I'm smashing these buggers. Yeah, that's a hit. Mate. Oh. Oh, that's right. They're skeletons, aren't they? <laughs> uh, they are. But as you strike the creature, you can see that they seem to shrug off most of your damage. They've got... <laughs> They're Apparently skeletons, they are... but they, they have are... swarm resistance. Apparently, they are made out of metal. Okay. <laughs> This is such cheese. This is this is really wizards. silly. Uh, not you know. I usually don't do a lot of over the table talk, but it's not even the usual damage resistance, bludgeoning, piercing, slashing from non magical weapons. It's just damage resistance, bludgeoning, piercing, slashing. End of story. Oh. It's. <laughs> I don't know who well. thought of this encounter, but they are sadistic. <laughs> This entire place existed. Minnie! Death save! Uh oh. No! She's stable, wasn't she? Not Nanny. Oh no, that was Cherish, right? Didn't she get like a heal for eight? And then and I went. Ooh! <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> Guys! Oh, you're no. you're killing all the characters with the art! <laughs> Oof, I'm we sorry. need it. We he can save it. We are killing the characters <laughs> with the art. I threw, like, the worst fireball of my life, okay? I think I did a good job at not killing you. <laughs> you threw a fireball at a party of level two, Which had very minimal resources well, I mean, to begin with. Because we were already I, depleted from the last She thing. had it on her sheet. What do you want me to do? Not to be, use the fireball? To be, enti <laughs> to be entirely fair, if she was an intelligent enough person and she saw that we were weakened, that's what she would do. So, I mean... Oh, yeah. She also would have thrown the second one. <laughs> yep. Yeah, she also would have thrown the second one, exactly. So. I will say, this is this is likely the gods of roll 20 because Cobalt Souls is set to edgy. <laughs> Stupid gods. Alright, Spartan, what are we doing? Uh, we believe it's in not you. not looking great. We it's believe in great. you. Yep, yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm going to shock and grasp the rat. There you go. Sweet. <laughs> no reactions. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. No reaction. You're running away! <laughs> 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 I'll be back with help. <laughs> well, she sees this. Oh, no. Fireball. Oh, no. 
Uh oh. <laughs> That's a bonus action. Hi. Still has her whole movement. Ah! <laughs> uh, I think I'm just as glad I can't see what's going on. She reaches inside <laughs> her her nasty, crusty robe, and she pulls out. It's a skull flail, similar to the one you had seen wielded by the woman in the chamber above, except this one is silvered. The the grinning uh, corpses they gleam in the light. And as they fall to the length of the chain and clatter against each other, she once again gives you that ghastly smile as she hits you twice. <laughs> and multi-attack? What is this? <laughs> what sort of sadistic smile? Oh, no. Oh, God. No. <laughs> well, it's been real, guys. <laughs> I should have taken the gods' advice. I should have just melted the <laughs> chains. Uh, I, I saw this last Saturday, and I didn't even realize how bullcrap this was. <laughs> oh no! Well, this is Tomb of Horrors Part Two. It's uh, supposed to be balanced by her HP, but. This is the second time this has happened, I just want to say. Well, I ran a group uh, in AL through this, and I told them, when you see the caster, you need to kill her before she gets a turn. <laughs> I'm stable and unconscious. Oh, that's right. You don't get to do anything. Uh, Marcus. Is, it, is the aura up when it's when you're still dead? Or he's, dying? He's not level 7. Or 6. Also, like, all of the paladins have already used their resources. Oh, Marcus has a nat 20. I'm sorry. I We were too busy laughing. Get up, Marcus! And do what? Get up, Marcus! And <laughs> do what? No, what I am I to the doctor? Run. If I, if I, if skeletal if, rats don't have a reaction. If the Twitch gods like me, I have wild shapes. As long as I have an HP, <laughs> I can go into something. Why didn't you do that last time? Uh, I don't know. Why didn't you do that? Because, because <laughs> I, my computer is lagging and it's really annoying me and I'm being flustered. Oh, Marcus used his. Okay, yeah, you, you got to drag I it. I mean, to the I have to. Time. It's it's it's. Oh. I... So nat twenty on the death save. Hooray! He's up with the hit point. Then he has his full turn. Uh, how do I drag it? I've never done this before. There we go. All right. Uh, I guess standing. Uh, is, am I allowed to pull her back and then step in and strike the rats, or do I have to like stand over her? Over who? What? Yeah, oh, you, can, Nanny. you can drag She's her. A... Yeah, that's fine. I'll All right, drag her behind me quickly, ah. stepping over her, and I guess take a whatever stands for a swipe of these things. Uh, that ten. That'll hit. Oh, jeez. All right. I guess spells. Spells. I only have a smite, and this is use it or lose it. No. No. All right, nine slashing, eleven radiant. I hate rats. All right, the uh, undead creature seems to to fall apart at the touch of the radiant energy, and it is destroyed. I should only suggest we leave this place. <laughs> Uh, I'm staying here. I don't even know where she went. I was unconscious when she moved. All right, Jabber. All right, so I'm pull out my crossbow and slowly move up. <laughs> <laughs> and then ready in action. If I see anything hostile, I'll shoot it. All right, Thorin. What's up, Ozzy? I propose we make a firing line. <laughs> Let's see. You I'm going to nanny. Uh-oh. <laughs> Roll down? 
Thorne's gonna pull out his crossbow and shoot her. Go down where? I don't know what you. I don't know what you mean. Uh, fourteen would be a hit. It would. She's around the corner. Oh no! It is. She doesn't have shield. What? Yay. I mean, silver linings, right, guys? Oh, yeah. Nene. Death save. Ooh, two fails. Because we're so amazing at them. All right, and here is Edgy. He's got... Are, are you two and two right now? I'm two and two. Ooh, oh, my God. This here is we it. Go. Moment of truth. Bye, Edgy. Oh, no. <laughs> I think it's fitting that Edgy was the one that died. Moment of silence. F in the chat. <laughs> is, there, is there a paladin nearby that improves the save? Paladin's auras are at level six. Two? I told you that this 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 power. I just said that like thirty this. seconds ago. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Hope, wishful thinking. I'm a fighter, but worse. All right. Well, see you later, y'all. I'm going to Twitch chat. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, did we get the seven point heal on Nanny? Hey, if we just uh, if we just hung out a little bit, maybe maybe there's going to be a, a nat twenty coming. Uh, you know, for this upcoming death. Uh, we do have a rich bloke. Do you do you wonder why I be able to afford some money for five seconds before I made the roll? Uh, <laughs> well, everything's on cooldown. They can't help you anymore. <laughs> well, this is this and is the actually two people that could have helped me just sat there with crossbows. Yeah, she already got that. I, I can move to you. I mean, <laughs> oh no, we would have stabilized you and not even been able to attack anything anyway, and still died. So. Uh, yeah, I have uh, I have disadvantage on this. I know, <laughs> which isn't that uh, nice. Uh, well, there's Portal, one. We'll get you. That's a yeah, fail. Rich boy still. Rich boy still chained up in the other room. He might be able to do something for Edgy. All right, and oh hey. Here, I guess you would be able to see her when she first steps into view here. Uh, miss. And then she steps. Damn it! <laughs> she's gonna shake that silver flail again, and she's going to. Where the heck is her sheet? There it is. You lost it. It's gone. <laughs> uh, Jabber. Is that a hit? Mm-hmm. Whoa! I think Jabber... Jabber is no more. Rip. <laughs> Did you die outright? Yeah, I think you just got Chunky Salsa. Yep, negative 17. Maximum hit points is 11. Oh, shit. I have a twin. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yee, yee. it's a miss. Shield. She's not even red. This is. Oh, stable, but yeah. I don't know. Marcus. Uh, if you vaunt it, flaunt it. That's a hit. Uh, no smite, I wish, but eight. Right. And I guess just for points, uh, I'm going to attempt to knock her prone with a shield bash. Thirteen acrobatics or dexterity, her choice. Currently she prone. She failed. 
All right, let's kill this witch. Thorin. You gotta get smashed. <laughs> it's too hard. Yeah, it, dude, it's rough. That's it. End of turn. Nanny is up. I would like. I'm going. Nanny's going to stand up and kill her. You want me the wild shape? At uh, this point, um, she's down. She's prone. If you got melee, um, I would like to thorn whip her and drag her closer. Yes, good. Don't! Fool elephant. Oh, she missed. Ed, I missed. I would like to back up um, closer to the corpse. I can't. My, my thing's being really slow, so I can't do much right now. Gnome, God's favor is upon you. Flynn! Uh, Flynn coughs and sputters and New life is breathed into his flesh. <laughs> as I expend my nat 20 to get a hit point. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so. No, it's an action. And crossbow. Oh no. This is prone. Damn it. <laughs> well. Who miss? That's a shame. She stands up defiant, angry, and then... No man can kill me. She looks I'm at you. No man. She sneers and, hey, you can't do that. I was going to say that. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It'd be real. Uh, Karis, bad. did you see chat? You were healed for one. I yeah, am so I'm about to go down again, it looks like, with that <laughs> red triangle. Well, but, you know, maybe it'll matter if she hits for 14 and not for 15. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Please. No. Okay, and then we'll get rid of that. And <laughs> oh, you're favored by the gods, Alicia. Yeah. All right. And a nat twenty on that death save, so I'll be taking my one hit point back. And <laughs> hit her with everything you got. Emphasis. Pointing at Flennis. Okie dokie. That is a save. It is. Marcus. Alrighty, and then back to Gomo. Gomo, move you for a second so I can grab that token. Die already! Oh, I guess I should leave you guys on so that you can actually watch the... <laughs> 14 will hit. Uh, you hear a coughing, sputtering noise as you cave in the creature's chest. She surely can't survive much longer. 
Nanny. Just get healed. I would like I would like to just throw my last magic stone at her, please, and pray. It is a hit. But through I... that she is still standing. Defiantly. Oh come on. <laughs> I'm backing up another 10 feet, end of turn. Alright. Lynn, it is your turn. And no pressure. But if she survives this round, <laughs> she might be using her last level 3 slot. <laughs> okay. Well, no in pressure. that case, uh, yep, <laughs> Lynn's gonna just kind of hop over the turtle, use him as a springboard to just thunder punch her in the face. No! no. Ah, hold on. Does, does it only if they're wearing metal or if they're carrying metal? It's it has to be metal. wearing it, metal. Ah, boo! All right. Are you finished? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid so. All right, well. I definitely am. As fun as Fireball is, I actually like this better. Well, unless, unless, I can, unless I can hide in my bag of holding. Uh, no. Okay. It, it looks like she gives you a, a whopping. Yeah, it looks like she does. What's your max HP? 19. <laughs> 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 What <laughs> even is this? For no. any for anybody keeping track at home, he was one point away from being chunky salsa. <laughs> Yikes! Whew. Ooh, okay then, dragon. I'd let you. Well, I'm I'm gonna remind Marcus has like six HP. <laughs> All right, uh, Alicia. Wait, how? I don't see anything. Uh, Gizbo give you six HP after oh, you went down. Oh, he did indeed. Thank you. Oh, uh, I... okay. Uh, we're gonna try the tempest test again. Pointing at Flynnus. She fails. And as the ghoul reaches for her head, she begins to thrash and flail in agony. And then her body falls over lifeless. It, you guys won! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at quite a heavy cost. Uh, is anybody currently down? Yep. I would like to go close. over... I would like to go over and stabilize them, please. Okay. We've got a rich boy near the room. Medicine save? Uh. Oh. I will. Cool. Well, yeah. Can I bring them back with one with a nat 20 or no? Is that just. Oh, shoot. I, I keep going off the map. I'm sorry. You know, maybe there's a secret in one of these books. And Thorne's going to pull out one of these strange books in his backpack. I I would like to go and examine the corpse that they that she was that that this person was um just seeing if there's anything oh, right. of value Notes. or anything that we can use to identify them potentially. Well, well, well they're looting bodies. Marcus is going to going to collect the two bodies of our fallen companions and lay them respectfully out in the chamber here as I'm sure can you can you move edgy as a as a turtle I think he weighs something in the ballpark of like 500 pounds I have 17 strength doesn't answer the question I mean I would think that I'd be able to drag him yeah, your your lifting capacity is like two hundred and fifty-five. 
Yeah, well, I could probably, yeah. I could probably do it because um, Fatty Fatty uh, here put his it? weight to six fifty. So, all right, that would, that would exceed where he is. Push drag Just shoot lift. him like a hockey puck deeper into I the can, I can, I can do it. I'll do it. I think I can, I can get it. I can carry him. Well, what's that. your what's your strength score? Fourteen. So fourteen times thirty times two. It's like uh, 510. Oh, no, sorry, it's 17. Uh, never mind. I'm doing... I'm being sick. But I double it. I double anything. Yeah, that's why I said times two at the end. Ah. Uh, anyway, I'm still in the silver, the silvered skull flail. <laughs> 840. Yeah, she definitely can. Alright, thank you, Nani. Then I will very <laughs> much I will very much go and do that and lay them both next. I'm assuming you're saying taking them to the chamber with the guy who's manacled? Yeah, for now. Okay, I will go and do that and then I will come and examine the corpse. Um, the one that she was pulling stuff out of. This does not bode well. Is there any is there anything on the corpse? Anything particularly oh, that is like <laughs> Um there's her her dirty black robe and the silver flail. Cough oh, silver weapon. I will take um, the silver flail. Yeah, let's right. grab the silver flail. Um she also has a book with a black leather cover, and you see that it has a, a tiny skull shaped locking mechanism. And as you, you know, kind of paw through the body, you can see there is a key kind of tangled in a rat's nest in her hair. I'll take the key. I will unlock the book. Wait. Does anybody, is, can anybody detect magic on things? I can identify. Wait, wait, I can do it. I can do it. I can detect magic as a ritual if you give me ten minutes. Never mind. I have that spell prepared today. Is our boy here uh, uh, I stable? Have identify as a domain spell. Yeah, he's stable. All right. Uh, gonna take him with me since I can probably carry him. Okay. Um. I mean, do you want to identify it before I unlock it? That'd be a good idea. All right. Uh, if no night fang show up while I'm identifying it, I will. Identify does nothing. It's a book, not a magic. Okay, item. I, I unlock, I unlock it, and I look through it. And what is it? You're not casting detect magic, though. Okay, I'll I'm getting away from it. the book. Well, if he, if. <laughs> Yeah, identify would fail because it's not appropriate. Fair enough. But detect magic. I'm, I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to well, you. I, I so you cast detect if, magic yeah. while he casts identify, and you see that yeah. the book does have a strong aura of enchantment. Ooh. Do we want to just take this with us for later? Do you want me to open it? Because this does actually have something. Uh, I would prefer that it be oh. done. We are not all almost dead. If you're going to open it, do it while I'm standing far away from you. Yes, unless there is anything else in this room, I think this is time for us to go. To stay now would be literal suicide. There are two more doors. You are on your own door. Um... I'm sorry. There, I meant I forgot the uh, last part of identify. You learn any spells affecting the item and what they are. The book has an arcane ward, and it has a inflict wounds prepared and held. A very powerful one. Okay, we're Don't definitely not op open, open it. it. Elephant. <laughs> okay, I will not <laughs> open it. <laughs> uh, does the key look like it could possibly be used for the shackles as well, or is it just for the book? Ooh, it's much too tight to fit the shackles. 
Hey, I'm Rich Boy. All right. Well, who wants to try? Uh, wants to try Thief Stools Brown too? Just I, uh, how much were you offering us as a reward for freeing you? Everything. So much. Uh, about a thousand gold pieces. Would oh you... yes, of course. My wealth is if meaningless we... if I die here. If we, if you promise. To help resurrect our friends will, and pay for the cost. I will give you will. anything, yes. Alright. Yes. Give me give me the crowbar. I will I don't know. Wait, if Jeff, we'll my... we can either go check the other doors. No. Or we can just sit here for an hour and I'll melt them <laughs> no. into a crowbar. <laughs> also, no. I like that. Nope. Not gonna open the doors. <laughs> well, we could. Yeah, no, we're not gonna be able to open the doors. I mean, unless. Wait, is Flynn still unconscious? You're still a member yep. of this he's, game. You he's, can't he's, he is. Yeah, as he's I want unconscious. You to I feel yeah, like we dragged him. him. We... He's yeah, small. I feel Marcus like we dragged him. him. Trying to decide whether to pull some of that chainmail back out of his bag of holding. Are you leaving the group? Let's see. Does anybody have a crowbar? Uh, we did produce one before, but it didn't yeah. do that is true. good at the time. We are probably yeah. going to end up needing to break something. And it's not like well, you don't get to play. You are playing the same game in, on the Saturday. The only reason I say that is because perhaps my powerful build can allow me to attempt this. To uh, pry the chains off of the wall versus pry the manacle shut off. Sure. So could I make that at advantage, I'm assuming? Uh, you guys I do have a crowbar somewhere, it. right? Yeah, yeah I have one, one, yes. Yeah, well, crowbar okay. would already give you advantage. Okay, well, all right, well then I will use, I will kind of use my trunk as well to kind of wrap it around, at, wrap it around, and I'm not going to break the manacles, I'm going to take them and yank them out of the wall. Sure. So even though he, he has the chain still, Yeah, I already said yes, just roll wall, it. We can at least move it. <laughs> Okay, come on, don't fail me now. Nope. I gotta roll it again. That is, I, it's an advantage. One minute. Come on, please. Hey, ooh. Nope. Still a nope. Damn it. Yeah, I think you guys had a, a an 18 and a 19 last week, and it wasn't enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, well. Does anybody want to try the thieves' tools? <clears throat> How hardy are you, Marcus? Thieves. Wait, isn't Thieves Tools guy, like, sleeping right now? Yes. Yep. And I am all out of healing. Yeah. Here, Nanny, give me the crowbar. Right. If anything else, I think I'm the only person left who has a chance. To should have tried to save my... Get out of here! <laughs> Blue Dragon uh, Rivaling should have tried I would like to attempt. Me. Attempt to what? Uh, to use the crowbar. Okay. You know, I feel like I could do something with Flynn. Where's here's Flynn? And I reach out and touch him. And he gets two. Because I don't see anywhere in my notes that I used it last time. You didn't. I don't I don't think you did. Yeah, you are correct. This would be this would be the first reveal that uh that i'm not human that you're not human oh well i mean it would look very similar to what what marcus does you just put your hands on them and they heal uh here oh, let's no. try the crowbar i keep forgetting oh, to mention oh, gosh, how are you smoking today? during that last fight oh 24. there we go all right you rip the uh chains out of the wall and he drops to the ground he lands on his feet but then his his knees buckle and he just falls straight down all right all right steady yourself uh here lean on me i'll get you to safety the rest of you nanny do you think you can get the turtle i can get the turtle yes i will carry him and uh, alicia the clown Um, yeah, uh, no, I'm, 
I'm too weak. I mean, uh, between oh, between clown. two, yeah, between two of you, can't you guys carry him? Yeah, probably with two of us. Let's see our three. Uh, I'll give him a rest first. All right, stay close. Do not wander off. We he starts. He starts here. smacking your hands away. Get off of me! Ah, uh, I can go. I'll be fine. Sadly, no other doors for us. Unfortunately, Clem, we've already seen cutthroats appear out of nowhere in here. Not to mention, we're already leaving ourselves. Not to mention, you've made us a lot of promises, and uh, we'll be escorting you to the surface to make sure that they are recompensed. I am a patriarch! How dare you insinuate that my word is nothing but bond! I have said no thing, but we'll be accompanying you nevertheless. It behooves us to accompany you because we need to get our friends um, brought back. Yep. He, he so. smacks your hand away again. Didn't you say you were here to root out the cult? If you well, leave now, they will simply they will simply evacuate. They will dig they will burrow deeper. You need to finish the job. And I'll even I'll even pay you more. Make them pay then, for what they did to me, and I'll double what I promised you before! You already promised us everything you have! Not everything. You asked for a thousand gold, and he said, sure. Alright, hand me the God. flail. I give you the flail. Um, now Alicia the question is, are you just on him or the cultists? Alicia just went up and punched him. Oh! He is unconscious. So all right, we can Fine, tell now we have three people to carry. I mean, that was already practically carrying him. Ah, well, I get a sense that his, most of his speech is bravado. I doubt very much he had any intention of making do on the surface. But regardless, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe we can say that the rock fell. Let's go. <laughs> Would, uh... No, I mean, there's nothing. You don't think that there's anything else in this area that we could that we we were sent to root out the cult. I mean, I feel like that's there's two that's other doors down thing. here. Yes. Yeah, there's more doors. We but we're gonna have to come back. We're in the uh, show here. show of hands. How many hit points? I want to see if any of us have no, more. No, what than are you Mike talking about? Total. I am a little under. Uh, I'm almost. At halfway fighting capacity. A beasting would take the me down. The rest of us are all one, so we are leaving. Because I'm, if we stay, yes. we die. I have wild shapes left, and I could explore this place, but I would prefer not to do it without anybody else available. Hey, uh, there, was there anything interesting in the room? They we found a book. That kills you. Oh, we I want book that book. Yeah, I gave you. I gave whoever wanted the book. The book with the key. I got the book. Actually, Wait, no, hold I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep the key. I I'm feel keep like the key. I've got an idea. <laughs> yes, there's a there's a wound spell in that book. What if we use it? If we find an occultist, we turn the book on them. How exactly uh, are we going to get them to describe open the chain it? of events that yes. required? M to turn a key for the book. No, 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 you see, that. I turn the key, and then I open the book in their face. That's not how that spell works. Yeah, that is, uh, and pretty that's, certain that's a touch. It's just, it is just, the it's whole thing just explodes. Touch. Yeah. That's not the right one. It, and it'll like take out whoever's enemy. touching it. CR one half. Curses. Oh, you mean Does Flemish. anybody have mage? I'm intimately familiar with that one. Does anybody have mage hands? <laughs> <laughs> I think we had disturbed it to determine that a no on that uh, before. Also, uh, Alicia, if you'd like, I got three other strange books in my backpack. Ooh, okay. Actually, I would still have detect magic going up. Do any of those books give off any magic? They do not. Okay, they are not magical. All right. There we go. That'll solve Unless that. anybody has a <laughs> wish, I'm moving towards the surface. What's so all there was in that room was a book and nothing else. Yes, apparently. I don't believe Orbs. We, we looted the dead woman, 
I think Nanny wanted to go inspect the corpse on the table. I did. That was the other thing I would like to, I did want to expect. To see if they just had anything either of value or we could identify maybe potentially if they were a noble or just like a common person or a merchant. No random metals. What about, you said there were other books? What were the other books? I think I'm just going to park him there. Where did we get those? He'll stop all that foolishness uh, about when I was leaving, through the, a tomb. Uh, leaving the dungeon. <laughs> we found the sarcophagus. I looked inside. There are three books, and I took them. I'm trying to decide whether to keep going with the Thorn accent or if it just makes me hard to understand. Do it! I you're like fine. it a lot, and I think you're doing a great job, buddy. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I understand still say fine. we need... Yes, you, you sound uh, very uh, unique. Yeah. Nanny, as we you have... examine the corpse, um, you see that it's been stripped of its valuables, but by its clothing, you can tell that it, it appears to be another noble family. Another member of a do noble I, Do I reckon... Would it, would there would be I, no markings be determining to like as to which... Okay. What? That's what I was asking, if there was like a crest eye or something I could memorize, no, even if I didn't. No, it's just the material of the clothes are very, very uh, fine, um, very exquisitely patterned, but not something that would identify it. So, uh, just kind of poking into the room, like, is there anything else? Uh, no, any, that, that is the entire room. Just the Master of Souls and her puppet. Okay. Why are you so interested in metal, gnome? Because I'm a craftsman. But I'm not a smith. Shift metal and Although I'm a, I'm a, well, good for you. So, yeah, keep I stealing the stuff. I'm gonna use day. it for. Her. Well, I'll probably put it to better use than you will. Uh, what are you guys doing? I see um, half the party is, is moving down to room. explore more and. Half the other, the rest of the party is like, no, we're not doing that. I don't want to do I'm, that. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing debate. people go this way, so I was following. But yeah, I was we're, we're pretty happy. I was, no, I was debating. I was going to ask: Is there like, is 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 the is the door flush with the floor? Uh oh, is there a gap? Yes. Uh, actually, yeah, sure, there is a gap. Okay, I'm gonna look back, and and the and it's still we 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 still have that weird eerie thing where like it like these rooms are noise canceling, correct? Uh, not these rooms. It was the rooms that were filled with with uh with the water. Water. Yeah, it was this okay. kind of dampening. Okay. I'm gonna look back at them, and I'm gonna go. I can shape into a small spider. I can go look. I can scout. I can be quiet. I can get under the store without having to open it. If we really want to make sure that at least we have an idea of what we're coming back into when we go come back here, then I can do that. Mind is right. But no earth it seems a little risk. No, there was that was that was just to see how on on guard these these things were. And I, I regret doing that, and this time it will be one hundred percent super stealth. If you think that you can <laughs> do it without getting caught, it could be useful information. But I tell you now, if you do not return, I think there is very little chance that we'll be able to reach you. That is fine. If I am not, I will say this: if I am, you can go wait upstairs in the in like the bathhouse. And if I am not back in an hour, go get our guard friend. How does that sound? Yeah. Friend is a very uh, generous term, but... But listen, you will have a chance to take a rest, sort of rejuvenate a little bit while I I'm surprised no one has tried that. Can we take a rest? <laughs> All right. Go with the people's favor. All right. I'm going to... If you're going to have to do it for me, because my computer is still really slow, but I'm going to wild shape into a small spider, and I'm going under the store quietly. Okay. And I'm going to start to explore. Uh, while she does that, what is the rest of the party doing? 
I think uh, we, well, leave, we were told to go sit up in the bathhouse. In the bathhouse, no. We need to get away from here. Yeah. There's no way we can risk those cutthroats finding us. I don't want to go too far from Nanny, though. We'll give her I mean, some there's time. Not much, and there's not much we can do for her yeah. if she does get in trouble. Let's stay close for a little bit, but she's dead to go. Ooh. And I think that we should use this as an opportunity. Oh! Oh! All right, Mr. Unconscious Noble, All right. let's go. The something plentiful is see, I'm helping to carry Jabberjaw. Oh shoot, now who will carry the so, effing turtle? Uh, if we're not going to do it this weekend because there, there's no Sunday game. It's not fair to those guys. Although I could just schedule them in later. We'll work out the details in the Discord. But carry that is Jabberjaw? going to be coming one weekend. So it'll help. Why not? Where so, okay. all the help that he can... Uh, you know, must all the encounters will have double well, XP rewards. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I mean, we'll be largely dragging them because I'm not made of muscle. Well, I haven't made of muscle, but not that kind of Water strong for you muscles. coming. Aye. <clears throat> all right, to the surface for us. Um, and when we get up to the top, there's the guy that's still shackled. Well, at least there's the guy we left up there with my shackles on him. That's true. Marcus, as you move to the end of the hallway and go to open the door, can you make a stealth check, please? In heavy armor? Oh, yes, even better. Nine. Cool. You also have disadvantage. I don't think I could throw, but I'll do it. Doesn't matter. Ah. Nine, is, nine is good enough. So you open the door, you see a very large creature sitting, well, not very large. It's about the size of a large dog, but it's coated in blue scales, and there seems to be an almost electric hum in the air as it turns towards you and starts to make a barking noise as it begins to to charge towards the door. Oh, he's cute. Shut it. Shut the door. Shut Do the I door. have time to slam the door? Sure, you slam the door shut. <laughs> uh, if it doesn't make a course. Alright, it looked like it you was just You can hear it on single. the other side, barking and clawing. Maybe uh, they just wanted to be friends. I very much doubt that. Does it sound like there's any other noises on that side? Uh, no, just the slobbering, you know, ravening uh, beast. Are they giving it a ration? Are they in? Are they in the um in the noise canceling section now? Not sure. It's so very loud. I'm sure you could hear it from where you are. Also, from where you are, um, you, you begin to smell the hint of sulfur. Okay, that's what I thought, that this might be the sulfur room. All right, well, I'm going with extra special care now. And I'm doing this on the ceiling, by the way. I heard. Um, uh, yeah. Let's go check how Nanny's doing. <laughs> I think that was the best wandering monster I've ever had. Walking along. Do 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 do. I'm a spy. Thorn has the silvered skull flail. Say that again? Those three doors are stone. Thorn has the flail that we pulled off of the dead oh. woman. Oh yeah, because those are the, the doors of the dead three. Did did I hit a dead end? Yes, yes you did. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I'm just and trying to find my way. There we go. If we have time while waiting on Nanny, I'll identify it. Identify what? The flail. It's not magical. Nope. All right. Yeah, that was all her. She did all that. Glennis is a bad bitch. That is a is very, that? very unfair... She's a bad witch. Right? Um... <laughs> 
uh, Flynn uh, says to Thorin, "Hey, can I can I see that?" Nay. <laughs> Are you guys just gonna fight over every like magical or or special thing? <laughs> it's it's not even magical. But uh, he's like, "Come on, just let me see it." Are you hugging it for yourself. This is. I thought this is a group effort. Um, the last can... things the group found have disappeared into your bag and have yet to come back out. Well, what are we going to do with a suit of chainmail in this dungeon? A I broken suit a crowbar. of chainmail. I, I have a crowbar. Of plate mail. I have a crowbar. I could have made plate mail out of it. So? Um, what good's a piece of plate mail in here? What good's your chain mail doing? Nothing. That's why it's just stuck in the bag. Can you wear chain mail? Yes. I'm wearing chain mail right not chain mail, sorry, I'm wearing a, I'm wearing scale mail right now. But um uh, no, I can't wear chain mail. But I can make it into something more useful when we get out of here. That's why it's in the bag. That is correct, Alicia. So, how, how long does it take? Is is the spider still scooting around yet? She's still scooting around, yep. Okay, can I, can I look around this one and see if I can't? Alright, so you got a good look at that room now? Oh boy. Uh-huh, okay. 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 That's what you would hear in addition to the barking Borkin dragon. <laughs> the dragon dog weird thing. Uh-huh. Okay. Um Okay, I'm I'm back in. I'm scuttling my little my little spider butt um back out of this room. Okay. And then you find your passage blocked. The The next door is is made of heavy stone and lies flush on every side. Can I go up to it and see if I can't hear anything beyond that door? No, you don't hear anything. It's dead silent. Okay. Um... Alright, back to the party? Or, well, yeah, there's um, else to I... go. I think I don't think there's any. I don't. I don't know. I'm trying. I think I've pretty much looped. Yeah. Uh, no. I'm, I'm looking at the map. I'm. You've went as far as you can. <laughs> okay. Well, then I would like. Could you please drag me back to the party then, so that I don't have to drag myself and ping me. Already Thank did. you. Uh, spider. Um. I will. I will unwild shape myself back to my back to me, and I will say. Well, um, well, the door down, um, down to the south, the one door down to the south, the only door that we can go in yet. Uh, the, well, there was the two doors, the ones that we wedged shut and the one down oh, to the south. That uh, one it's not that, there's nothing the scary. Room. It's just, uh, I followed it for some time. time. I was able to, I found a one, Look, there's nothing another there. door that led to a room full of zombies. How full? Uh, as in, uh, quite, quite a few, um, of course an idea, but, um, but then further down that hall, I found a wooden stone door that unfortunately was flush and I couldn't get through. A wooden stone door? That's not what I said. And that is the only other door that we have yet to go through. We don't have to go into the zombie room. We could, we could wedge that shut with a, like, uh, with a pitten, um, but I think we need to, um, um, I think if we want, I don't know, uh, I heard barking, what was that all about? Apparently there is some kind of guard drake up top that is barring our path forward. I think we could probably force our way through, but we have to be very careful about it. Oh yes, do that. As in, on the, on the top? As in, going up the trap or down the stairs that come down here, like? The entrance no, to the bathhouse. Remember where there was an intersection. As in, 
Yeah, on the other side of the door that we came through. I have uh, one more. I have one more wild shape left. I can, I can wild shape into a moss lizard, and and if we need to fight it, at least I can provide a shield for us. Okay. Okay. While you guys take it down. I have behind me. proposals. One, we form a fire in line, and Marcus opens the door, and the rest of us shoot it with crossbows. Or two, we lure the zombies into the sofa room, and throw a ten foot pole with a torch strap to it. <laughs> could we could we lure the 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 guard dog into the sofa room? Well, probably um, not without going into it ourselves. Well, that's the thing, though. If it's trained, it might just stay up there. I mean, if we you know that's a legit dragon, though, right? <laughs> I didn't see it over your shoulders. I don't think. I just heard. Oh, it. oh I that's... haven't. Oh, I haven't seen. I haven't seen that. Oh boy. Yeah, it's it's not a god dog. It's a dragon, and and they're pretty smart. And blue. Well, apparently it can't open doors. You hear a cracking noise as the door becomes everly increasingly damaged. Alright, zombie path it is. Uh, <laughs> elephant, what's uh, this way? Alright, well, I'm going to lead them back through <laughs> um, the, the way that I came, home. or the way that I went down and into the sulfur room, and I'm going to pick up the turtle, and I'm going to drag the turtle with me. I'm going to go That's look right. at them, and I'm going to go <laughs> grab all the bodies. I know it's a really bad idea to put them in the sulfur room, but we can't leave them here. Well, yeah, we don't want them eaten, for one thing. And this guy's only unconscious. He's not dead. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying, is let's, can, can we, yeah, can we go down to Uh, can we go down to the door? Um, we're gonna go in. We're gonna take everybody down to the southern door, and um, drag all the bodies nobody's, in. Nobody there. just goes, "Hey, what's this door?" And then, um, and then we are going to bar that door with a pitten. Wait, is there a door here? Yes, this door, there's this. Well, there's, there's definitely a door right here behind me. I'm pinging, pinging here. I'm seeing yeah, that. You guys have never went in that door. Nani, did you? No, I did not go in that door. I was told to go in the other door and just Move over, do all door. that. Move over, elephants. I can't wait till this one opens and we get thrown at a fireball thrown at us. Speaking of yeah. which, Dodge I action. open the door. <laughs> all right. You see a similarly looking hag to one you had seen before. In a black robe, she stands there, hovering over it. No, I'm just... I'm just... That's... <laughs> oh, I was about to say, hi, I'm here to join the cult. <laughs> I've got four yeah. sacrifices uh, for you. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, in this room... Uh, an ordinary rat scurries around, looking for scraps of food. I give it the ration. Oh, it uh, stands up on its two hind legs. It's very cute as it reaches out with its tiny paws and takes a piece of the ration and starts nibbling. Okay, I would like to ritually cast Speak with Animals. Please? Sure. Uh, if the party is okay with waiting around another ten minutes. Sure. I would like. I would like to pull. I would make. I would like to this door. Have, and it's yeah. Fine. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Everybody's in. All the bodies are in with us. Bar the door. I'm speaking with the rat. I want to know if the rat knows how to get out of here. I have to check I my mic. The doors. Ah, snowball. All right. So, so the the rat looks up. I give it a ration. I give it further my ration. And it, and it, oh, it loves it. And, and then uh, it it looks at you, and, and it kind of squeaks out. What? What'd you say? 
Oh God, this is gonna be awful. Uh, hello, little <laughs> rat friend. Um, my my friends and I have a need need to um need to please be able to get out of here. And um, I I would be ever so happy if you if did you do you know any way out of here besides through the big building above us? Anything? Any other secret? Ways of getting out. Uh, only, only no two. There is that way. And he kind of scampers and and stands over here, and then he uh -huh. runs to the opposite side, uh, near the stairs that lead up to the gas room. Can you lead us to the one through the gas room, please? He scampers back inside and kind of sits in the corner. Um, you can sit on my shoulder and just give us directions. Um, I would be for, we are we would be forever grateful if you could please lead us out of here till safety. We will give you all of our rations, right? right? Guys, oh wait, you don't understand what guys we're giving us. We're just giving them squeaking all our at rations. it. <laughs> yes, okay. that is canon. She's sitting here, goes squeak, 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 and the and the rats just squeaking back, while everybody looks very confused. <laughs> uh, I, I feel, and then Eleven, I feel have like... you lost your mind? Oh, no. yeah, moments. Okay. Does it know what's the way to the east? Does it yes, know what's down this will... way? Uh, what is what? Yeah, I will ask. Uh, what is that way? Is it a dead end that way, my little rat friend? Uh. <laughs> I'm not going to do the rat voice. It's ridiculous. Um, the rat tells you that down to the west, uh, the rooms are flooded, so he doesn't go there. The rooms are flooded, so he doesn't go there. Um, but he does know there is another way to get out of here to in, in the sulfur room. Do we want to take our chances? I mean, it's that's all wait for the uh, dragon to find us. Sure. At the moment, I have no favor of the people, no healing, and if we go forward, I believe that we would either need to engage whatever we find or lure it into that room. And uh, personally, I don't think that room is going to be nearly as deadly as you think. So if we attempt to play all of our hopes on that thing exploding, not doing us, but doing them, it's a bit iffy. But it seems like we have no other choice. I need you guys. I need all light to be extinguished. So I know that we have a we have a human here, which means that you're gonna just have to wa I grab. Um, I'm gonna Hello. grab a length of rope okay, and tie it around again. at my waist and give it to him See, and basically say, "Hold on to this, and we will guide you." I have uh, very well. You're just going to have to trust this rat. I I have a light cantrip. Oh, yes, that will work, too. What would you like to be shiny and bright? The rat. His sword. No. <laughs> um, make it the shield. I reach out and touch his shield, Fiat Lux, and it lights. All, All right. right. I'm going to look at this rat, and I'm going to say, my friends have promised you their rations, as well as mine, um, if you lead us out of here to safety, away from danger. You can ride what? on my shoulder and point me the way. <laughs> I don't know how did right. that sound. Do we want to go again in the water? <laughs> want to be up front, I think I should know. I think the dwarf might actually be a little bit more hearty than me at the moment. Uh, by the way, uh, the shield has got uh, the cross emboss emblem of the House Regorovos, which is two griffins uh, clawing at each other uh, over a field of flowers. So it, came through it definitely oh, is a shiny it's not red uh, sigil that leads the way. So... How do we get these zombies? Uh, did uh, did Nanny see if they I have an could idea. possibly be led this way? Well, I just think we should avoid that door anyways and just in it and be done with it. If, if we go this way, there's, there's shinies. 
What the hell is that? Which uh, way? Abomination shiny. from the eighth circle. <laughs> yeah. I thought he said that way was flooded. This way, I believe. Not that way. This way. I think Nanny needs to go in front. And it runs over here. <laughs> where where are we where are we running? Nanny, you say. <laughs> Are we going the way that... Are we going into the sulfur room again? Thorin senses trouble. I clicked something. And I don't like the fact that I clicked something. Uh, running forward, you can see this dry, partially collapsed room contains a stone altar with human skulls and bones. Uh, the top of the altar is covered with dozens of half-melted candles made of black wax, all of which are currently unlit. And the rat scurries up to the top of the altar and stands there, looking down the hall towards the rest of you. Where, where, where are we? Where are we going? I, I'm assuming we're, we're taking the bodies. By the way, I hope I, I just want to hope we make that clear that we're taking <laughs> the bodies. Yeah, slowly but surely. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the rat and go, which way? It. Uh, jumps down from the altar and scampers over here. And this, my friends, is why you always take speak with animals. Huh. I see a few javelin tips stick out of that door. We were thorough. <laughs> we were thorough. So that's the same way we came from. Yep. This appears to be a dead end. It Where does the sulfur start? Uh, like at the stairs here. Hopefully, my mic doesn't cut out. Um, I'm gonna look at the rat and go. There's no other way. We 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 came this way. Two ways of getting out. Which is the other one? Um, I'm pretty sure. It's a ritual, so as long as you maintain concentration, it would continue, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and it's got a ten-minute duration. So, uh, it scampers along, and it kind of stops, and it lays down. Ooh. Oh, what? It's tired. What was that? <laughs> it just lays on the ground looking up at you. Oh, you want, want more food. food. It wants more food. I give it more food. I give it another <laughs> ration. <laughs> Alright. It starts uh, chowing down on the ra What kind of ration would a giant elephant carry? Peanuts. Um, yeah, why not? It's peanuts. Okay. Is that ra is is I'm just wondering, is that racist to say? I I'm, I'm just want to make sure that I, it, might it is be. an elephant person. If it offends an elephant it's... person, I will let you guys know. All right. Yes, I'm good. If any I'm elephants oh are my god, the stream, I'm deeply offended yes. by this. I'm this pretty sure our new uh, rat friend statement. his name is Ratchin. Ratch? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Well played. Oh well played. All okay. right. So, from which way do we see zombies coming? Uh, to the uh, east it's or it's north? to the east. It's to the east. All right, and you were very confident that we could get past them without. Uh... Yeah, they they are in a room. All we have to do is just put a that was my in the door and leave it alone. <laughs> All right. How far does the sulfur area go to the right? Uh, there's no way to tell without moving through it. Didn't they? Yeah, I I did. Uh, to the end of the hall. To the end all of the hallway. Right. Ration Do we want scampers to behind put you. Put all of our eggs he's, in he's one sulfur cheeks. basket. Might as well. Kind of Ration right. scampers. Excuse me, Ration. 
Are you shitting me right now? Ration starts walking behind you, its cheeks overflowing with food, uh, but it only goes about five steps and it sits back down. I'm going to go back. Uh, what are you doing, buddy? Hey, that's really fun. I pick up the rat and put it on my shoulder. Okay. I'm going to make it control me like in Ratatouille. Why not? It's just pulling vines. <laughs> uh, well, that is a very great idea, but unfortunately, I don't think Ration is quite that intelligent. I know, but I'm going to put it on top of my head and he can, you know, maybe he can tug, you know, ears to go, I don't know. He's on me now. I have him and I start walking forward and I just say, just, or I have him like, I don't know. I guess, I guess he's on top of, I'm because I'm carrying um, Ed, Edgy. So he's on top of Edgy's shell and I'm just like, just point what way we have to go, okay? I'll carry you. Which way is the wooden stone door? It is to the right. Did you say a wooden stone door? That's what the Luxodon told me. No, there was a wood door and a stone door. I went under the wood door, but there was a stone door at the end of this hallway, which I could not get. Yes, you see three wooden doors there, there, and there. And there's the stone door at the end of the hall. Did you look under all three of the wood doors? Did I look under all three of the wood doors? I don't know. Do you remember looking under all three of the wood doors? I remember that it was under one of them, but I kind of got bounced around when I was down here, so I wasn't entirely sure. Yes, every time you moved, I gave you the description for the next room. Okay, well then, I'm just going to say, unless the, rat dis unless the rat is saying we have to go in that particular room, that we... No, the rat isn't telling you to go in any room. He's... He's being oddly silent. I open the stone door. No! I, I die. Opening the stone door, you got it. Alright. Inside, the third hag! Inside? Find my notes. Uh, the walls and floor of this room are covered with streaks and splashes of blood. Two dangling bodies are shackled to the east and southern wall. One is an elderly male human. The other, a young female tiefling. Both are covered in bloody gashes, and neither one of them is moving. In the middle of the room is a sturdy wooden chair with a bloody whip draped over it. A bucket half-filled with salt sits on the floor nearby, and you can tell... From the white piles of material hanging, or I'm sorry, collecting underneath the hanging bodies, that it appears that they've been using this on these uh, victims. I'm going to ask, I'm going to look at Ration and go, is this the way that we get out, buddy? Oh, it, 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 okay, um, is there anything bad in this room? He nods again. I'm gonna take my crossbow and I shoot a corpse. Which one? This one. All right. Uh, you see the what you thought was a a uncon was a uh, dead corpse just turned out to be an unconscious woman as oh. the tiefling cries out in pain before her head slumps back over. It was a mercy killing. Can I run forward and see if I can stabilize her? Is she dead dead? It's too late. She was already hanging on by a thread. To be fair, you can't blame it. The last three corpses we found in this place tried to kill me. <laughs> Uh-oh. I want to go and examine the corpses and with and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put down our turtle friend outside the room. 
Uh, well, the male human is dead. You can see, uh, nothing really, like, his clothes have been, have been stripped, and he's wearing, like, this, this, uh, white gown, right, that the cult must have mm -hmm. dressed him in. Um, uh, there's no identifying marks, no, no, nothing else that you can really tell, and both bodies are, uh, hideously mutilated. So there's there's not much information to gain. I look at the rat and I say, which way gets us out of here? Only one way. To the north. Uh, it kind of scurries down your your shoulder. Pops in your backpack and hides. Oh no. Hey, you I two don't... look like you've been blessed by the gods. Why don't you take the lead? <laughs> All right. I watched that rat just run down into our pack. That doesn't look like a good sign. <laughs> All right. What armor are these two wearing? None. Alicia and Flynn. Flynn's running. None. Gale? Mm hmm. Do you I'm think also, you I'm also a gnome. I'm not going to use either a... of you. No. Nope. I'm afraid that my, uh, my energies are tapped out. Right. Apart from, right. apart from you He's going to shove the crossbow shuffle. into Alicia's hands. Move, Elif. All right. Here we I go. I have a crossbow. Then I shove it into the elephant hands. There are so many health I potions right there, and, and they just walk right it. past it. <laughs> Move, elephants! I am going. Why is, no, they what still I was haven't going tried. to say is I would like to hold my action. I would like to hold my action to wild shape into a giant lizard. Um, if as I go to kick the door down. I don't think you can ready an action to wild shape. That's not it's an action the, to wild least. shape. Yes, but readying an action has to be one of like the standard actions. I don't think you can ready class no. abilities. Really? Yes. All right. Yeah, you can't like ready uh, lay on hands or ready, you know. All right. Uh, Fair enough. So open the door, get ready for combat and... There's nothing in here. It's, it's, probably. it's just a hallway. Dead rats. <laughs> All right. Oh, shoot. There's light here. Welp. <laughs> so, you turn oh. the corner. Hello, cultist. I'll bring you four sacrifices. <laughs> uh, so, you turn the corner. You see a single fist of bane. Uh, standing in front of the door here. And uh, as he, this one's a he, uh, as he stands and looks at you, he raises his shield with the bloody handprint and pulls out his weapon. And you can see he's determined. We're not going past. Well, I've got a nice rat for you if you'd like. <laughs> Uh, just gonna yell, RETREAT! <laughs> what? <laughs> True, if we retreat back into the room, we can, you know... Shut the door. Surround mm -hmm. them. However, uh, me fighting them one-on-one -on -one does not bode well for Thorin. Wow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. All right. Unfortunately, it looks like the fist gets to go first. Bye, and Nanny. He holds up his shield. Then he turns around. And he runs. What? Attack of opportunity? Boards. Sure. Ill. Let's see that op attack. With my core other staff. That is a miss. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to click it twice. Uh, you're okay. So, Nanny, from where you're standing, you can see him run up to a door, and then he flings the door open. Okay. Intruders! Oh, shit. <laughs> Can I yell something back? Sure, I mean, sure. He's an imposter! <laughs> oh, God. All right. All right. So, uh, Flynn will uh, courteously let uh, Marcus uh, go first after you, Sir Knight. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I insist. Uh, of course, uh, anything down the hall sounds like something is coming, so better. I mean, you actually look a bit more hearty than me at the moment. Uh, yeah. see those. I guess it wouldn't do for our uh, for our paladin to, to go up in the midst of a combat. Indeed, it would be a shame. Uh, Flynn moves up to there and he can't really do anything else, so he takes the dodge action. People's fate. Hopefully, there's no more of those fiery corpse people. Oh God! All right, I think it's as far as I can get because I can't see nothing. Actually, yeah, standing here, don't want to be in a cluster. Nene. Um, I'm going to look back at Thorin and go, Thorin, are we retreating, or do you want me to hold this point? Quickly! A turn uh, is six seconds. Okay. Sorry, uh, okay, I would retreat. like... Retreat. Uh, we're retreating. Alright, as we're... Re I guess, uh, then I'm going to wild shape into a giant lizard. And... Um sort of plant myself because I'm getting mixed messages uh, and that's my action do whatever you would do how do you fit very carefully very very poorly and that's my action Alicia uh, well so I I think Folks are retreating, so I stand here out of the way so people can go past me and ready to slam the door shut as soon as all of the party has come through. But I'll hold my crossbow just in case something other than my party comes through. Okay. Thorin? Stubby dwarven legs start dashing. <laughs> You're going there, you're coming back. I think you need to make a choice. I had a treat. Alright, so these guys. Uh, yeah. They run up here. And uh, you guys have already encountered these, so you know what kind of uh, weaponry they pack. First one attacks with the mace, gives the lizard a pumpkin for seven. Yep. Go you. Hey, Joey. Hey. Welcome back, man. How you doing? Uh, two in the back. Fire with the long bows, and I don't. What's your AC Myth. in? Uh... Miss twelve. Right. Twelve. Did you did you yeah. subtract the seven from your hit points and not your wild shape hit points? Yes. I I know I subtracted it from the wild shape. I'm st I still see 19 of 19. Oh, did it not take one? Nope. Flynn. All right, well, Flynn can just about see one of them there. So he's going to go ahead and take a shot. Sure. <laughs> well. Hmm. Yep. Massive lizard and a sharp corner. It uh, doesn't bode well. And Marcus. Alright, so you were going and now you're coming back. 
All right, stepping forward <laughs> probably to here so I can see him. Uh, seeing another one of these cultist people going to throw a javelin. The 11 probably misses. Yes, it does. All right, and stepping to here to break line of sight with him. Nanny? I would like to take a bite out of the one in front of me. Let's see it. That will miss. Dang it. I will now um, take... I will now back up. I know I'm probably going to be moving at half speed through here. Can I not even fit? Uh, sure. We'll say you can... Well, you're a lizard. You can move through at half speed. Okay, so I'm going to back up right... New Twitch feature. You earn points um, for doing and things, I will take and you can use those points to do other things. Right it's kind of cool. Oh, boy. Okay. That is a mighty op attack. Ouch. I am no longer a lizard. That's bad. This is real bad. Yeah, it's almost like we wanted to leave. Alicia. Uh, heal Neo for one. Wow, nice roll, darling. Um. So. I think it sounds like they're coming back, so I'm going to continue with holding the door and holding a crossbow in case it's something other than the door. Okay, you're going to have to move forward if you want to see that. This is a tight, this is literally like a U. It's not your turn. Yeah. Thorn? Thorn is debating going to desecrate Edgy's corpse. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna step forward and uh, no, I can't. All right, I'm gonna sit here in this room and ready my crossbow to shoot a cultist. You guys that are readying actions in the room, you know you'll never get to use it, right? Because there's three people blocking the walkway; they'll never get up there. Yes, but also I cannot move the three people and still take an action. And I can't even see all that to know what would possibly be, so there's not anything better I can I'm a do. Dwarf. I got 25 speed. All right. Well, Nanny, you are. That's a hit. Uh, yep. And then the second one, I'll hit there. Seven. Second one with the longbow. I'm down already. Miss. And third one with the longbow can only attack Marcus. Miss. Uh, heal for five on Marcus. I'm going to need it and it's appreciated. All right. Uh, Flynn's going to step up. Now, what armor are these guys wearing? Uh, some kind of metal. Chain metal, Excellent. and they wield shields. Okay, so uh, Marcus is going to go up and just kind of grab hold of him with his shocking gun. The hit. And then back up. All right, all of you get behind me and just cycle through. Shoot at them while I bar the way. Uh, Marcus would like to... Uh, pull Nanny back and plop her there uh, as he is going to uh, the other one could definitely see from there so I'm going to force him, them to come to me uh, I'm going to take the dodge action as I hold my shield up to try to impose their way forward Death save from Nanny Okie dokie Alicia. 
Um, how heavy is Nanny? She is an elephant. I am She's probably very large. not. I'm probably not strong enough to move her. So you guys are evil. I still. I'll I try and stabilize her. All right, uh, she is stable. For now. Thank you. Lauren. Can you move her? Probably, yeah. Uh, I got 14 strength. I don't know how much that would allow me to move. No, no, we cannot. <laughs> All right. I'm going to walk over the elephant's corpse if I can. Actually, wait. Yeah, you are just, just able to drag her. All right, slide the corpse into the room. <laughs> She's not a corpse, she's just unconscious. I'll slide the body into the room. Okay. And that's the end of my turn, I think. I'll hold a crossbow shot, I don't think I'm going to shoot anything. Alright, here they come. Mace guy, moving forward. Held actions? I can just, like, I can see the rim of that token. Okay. Like a sliver in the dark. You want to provoke your held action? Uh, do me a favor, drag that nat one onto the tabletop. I saw that one coming. Curse oh. you, kobolds! <laughs> <laughs> He's nat one me twice. You don't want to know how many crits I'm I'm gripping right now. <laughs> Come at Darling me, you luck is worms. giving you one. <laughs> All right, so you fire off and you miss. Is there anyone else that was holding an action? Okay, uh, this guy moving forward, going to attack with disadvantage. All right, it's blocked. Then these guys will move forward. This guy at the bottom. He's going to fire at Flynn, but because of the corner there, you have three-quarter cover. Sweet. Miss. All right. This guy here, who does, who do, you do not have cover from, he also misses. And then it's your turn. Okay, well, I can't reach him in melee, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the crossbow, give him a Manny shot. Manny, heal nine. Uh, the, the one that's Alicia, that I, I got injured it. before. This is targeting the one that I injured before. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to dip through there. That's it. Marcus? You cannot get past the shield of the Gorovos. Uh, I'm going to continue to dodge uh, as I bar their path forward. The rest of you, psycho through. Get them down. I shall be your bulwark. So dodge action, encourage the party, and Nenny. All right, uh, I get up using half my. Alicia, hand me the book. And uh, I can't. I can't attack from somebody's um, from Where? somebody's space, no. can I? Okay. Nope. All right, well then, no, uh, I'm just going to hold a magic stone um, on, if uh, if I see them. If Marcus moves back and I'm able to see them from this position. Alicia. Okay, well. Uh, I'm going to head down this way and see if I can encourage people. This way, we're retreating. There's another door we can slam shut. Enter. So, did you want to open the door? No, I'm just in this niche way so that I'm not in the way of people trying to go past me. That's where the healing potions are. Lauren? 
Step out. Fire across. Hey, you miss. Get rid of the last net one. It's a good time to waste them. And then run away! <laughs> it's a viable strategy. All right, the fist. That was a mistake. This, and then they can't see anybody else because they're hiding. Oh, longbow with disadvantage for 19. It's nah, of it. for eight. And then we have a nat 20 coming in for this guy. Flynn? All right. Well, Flynn's going to step in here. He's going to take aim with his crossbow, and that one that he injured, he's going to go ahead and uh, use that nat 20. All right, roll the damage again. Another D8. Whoa, what? <laughs> I don't know. It's not 1D68. That's a terrible roll for a 1D68, though. <laughs> there you All go. Right. First two. one's looking incredibly, incredibly damaged. And then, actually, how far? 10. Yeah, there. That's fine. Marcus? Third verse, same as the first. <laughs> right? <laughs> Nanny. All right, I'm going to. Um, up here. And I'm going to fire my magic stone at the one right in front of Marcus. That will miss. All right, and I'm going to move back into my corner. Alicia. This party is not very good at retreating. Um, I mean, this is do or die. It's like, <sighs> open the door. I'm gonna Lock stay it. here and hold a, hold my crossbow for if an enemy comes through the doorway and yell out, "Guys, we're retreating!" Lauren. Crossbow. <laughs> nope. Retreat. All right. Time to uh, add some. Uh, I think I think you guys are getting bored. Are you guys are you guys bored? It's almost nope. like, oh, yeah, it's almost like you're too coordinated. I should shake things up a little bit. What? No, oh, we're coming together God. as a party. <laughs> Hardly knew ye. <laughs> it's All right. been real, bro. So <laughs> we're gonna smack Neo. Bash. And you're gonna take 14 from the crit. Wait, no, 11. That... I can't get critted. Oh, that is correct. Well, you still take 7. Just to note Good that night, uh, second sweet, damage adds in their attack modifier as well. Okay, well, it didn't matter. He didn't take the extra damage. He just took seven. Did you take it? There we go. That's what I was looking for. Because now the one with the bow has got to run forward. What's up, sucker? And <laughs> he's got a fire at... Uh... Oh jeez, who 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 wants to get it? Uh should be. Should you? Wait, he's got more health, I think. Yeah. Well I at least won't die, I can guarantee Ow. that. 
Uh, so six, and wow, and then three. They have a zero mod. Cool. So nine. I am exactly unconscious. Oh, he won't knock me out. I know that much at least. <laughs> I said kill. There's a difference. Ah, boo! The last bean. He runs forward to finish off the job, and uh, the shot is a. It goes wild. It's a definite miss. All right, and Flynn, it's your turn. Okay. Well, this guy's all up, and, up close and personal, so I'm going to punch him with the old thunder glove. Uh-oh. Uh, that is a miss. Okay. I'm going to use my free interaction with an object to pick up the chair and hold it between me and them and hope that it'll protect me. <laughs> like a lion tamer. Just get back! <laughs> yep, protect me, chair! Whip. There, there's a whip, too, right there, oh, too. There was a whip on the chair. You really could be a lion guy. tamer. The other one. It, yeah. Alright. Marcus, Marcus, you healed for seven. It's in chat, like, right above the turn tracker. Uh, I guess he'll stand and swing because I have a shield and a sword and I can't use the shield to do damage. Oh, that is something. Go ahead and roll the damage. The first of the fists are dead. Woo! Spinning around in a circle, shield back. Okay, remember the fists, they have uh, tactical discipline. Advantage on all ability checks and saves during combat. I rolled a seven, I don't think it would have hey, mattered. alright. Three items from Table G if they survive. If they survive all Sounds this like a plan. Three items from Table G. Uh, oh, you rolled a seven for yours? Alright, well he passes. Uh, that's about all I can do. Thank you for the dono too as well. I... Sorry, focused. Almost forgot. <laughs> Nene. I would like to uh, 11, smack one, with my quarter staff. My pen. I'm doing not smack it with my quarter staff. 11, 1, 3. Uh, end turn. 11, 1, and 1? Oh. Right, Alicia. Oh, 1d10, 3. It's 11, 1, and 1. Well, Alicia's going to peek up here and see what's going on. Let's look at what that means. Ah, and shoot her crossbow at the one in front. Hey, that's two plus two weapons. You get to choose what form those plus two weapons are, so let me know. And miss. And then and... a cloak of displacement. Yo, come on, guys! Oh, shit. Marcus and is gonna to be. Niche. No, that, that that's good though, right? Uh, okay. And Thorin is unconscious. And then the fists there, of which there are two, armed with long bows. I'm gonna move Thorin aside because there's a guy there. I oh, rolled a d10. Okay, re-roll the last one then. Yeah, no, no, no. All right, uh, longbow number one from the guy in the back that does not have disadvantage. We're going to fire on Flynn. Then the guy in the front who would have disadvantage. Uh, let's shoot, man. Yay. 12 is That's a miss. That's a miss. All right, Flynn. All right, uh, Flynn's going to use the old thunder glove again. 17. That's a hit. Okay. Uh, end turn. Uh, and he's going to shout back to... Um, Ring of Evasion. Uh, I can't even remember her name. Okay. Uh, Alicia. Uh, to where? To the dragon? We've got to kill these guys now. All right. 
Marcus? Alright, swinging at this one. Nope. Uh, then he's going to attempt to shield bash this one around the corner. Uh, 22. Ooh, why did I roll twice? Oh, because it has disadvantage toggle. Uh, well, he would have rolled a 20 and failed, so he is prone. Uh, that'll be it. Nene. I will hit the one that is uh, now Heal for prone. one, Neo. And a nat 20 for Daddy Warbucks. Oh, so that you shouldn't have. I'm going to smack this thing two-handed quarter staff at the advantage because it's prone before me. What's up, Yoda? That's a name I haven't seen in a while. How you doing, brother? That is a hit for 11. Max damage and, and it damage. doesn't and it doesn't have uh, it, it doesn't have reactions because it's been chalked, correct? Correct. I'm going to move back. Okay, and Alicia. Turn. That's not true. Uh, there's, okay. a, there's a uh, Gomo. Um, Alicia's going to point at the guy in the back and say Tempest S. And it doesn't do anything. Yeah, you need you need and a turn. attack spell. Thorin is down. Uh oh. oh. Rip. Alright, here's my fist to your face. Uh the one in front is gonna stand up. And we're gonna turn around and we're gonna fire arrows at this guy right here. This guy. And we're gonna fire another arrow at this guy right here. That one right there. <laughs> okay. All right, here they come. Uh, so there's my longbow shot. We already know what it is. So first shot right here to Flynn. So five. Oh, it already rolled a crit. Excellent. <laughs> and then the second one over here. For... I cannot be critted, so just five. Yep, that is correct. It's auto hit, though, so that's nice for me. Alright, and Flynn is down. Yes, he is. Marcus is not down. If it ain't broke, don't fix. Um, How many people? Yeah, we're royally. Alright. Um, uh, just gotta get these things attention away from them and on me. So they have time the reset, man. Things, so but slicing towards this one's injured. About as much as I expected. Shield bash to knock him prone. I it's low. Passed. My brain broke for a second. <laughs> That's all I can do. Uh, Nene. Nene. This time I'll say it while Medi I'm using my button. You know, if you guys didn't want to wait uh, to cool down, you can always heal the party one. by giving me money. <laughs> no, seriously, if I don't... Oh, shit. It, it's full! Woo! <laughs> the advantage by B12. Uh, so who is stable? Was that Gomo? Thorin. Yeah, because he yeah. was he failed too. Alrighty. And well, then I'm gonna I'm gonna move myself in front. Oh we, a new challenger approaches. Thorin is stable. Time for the fists. Oh my god, I still have one? How Nah, Turn I'll wait a turn. I'll wait a turn. 
Uh, so we're going to attack Nanny and Marcus in that order. Nanny. Oh, okay. you're, it's it's an eight. It's a miss. Marcus. Ah, yay. And then Flynn is up. Make a save. Oh, and we have a heal for eight on Thorin. They, you're, the gods are on your side tonight. Gund wills it. They just gave you like six twenties. They might be on my side too. The gods look on us all with favor. <laughs> they want us to work. And for of it. course, Cobalt strikes again. <laughs> I like how Kobold has completely failed to realize that if we survive this, he might actually be brought back from the dead. Oh, he Probably never. not, though. He's a special guest. The plan was always for him to just play until he died. <laughs> anyway, uh, Marcus. I was wondering what we were just waiting for. Man. Uh, let me see here. Do I have... I don't even have my paladin abilities. Alright. Uh, still trying to get this guy. And going just great. Oof. Danny. I would like to hit the one uh, right in front of me, core staff. Uh, can he get a these attempt to check? I'm sure he'll probably pass. Oh, for you? Yeah, sorry. I. Yep, pass. And hit with the quarter staff kills it. Yeah, all right. I'm moving up to box this one in. What was that plus two weapon? Intern. Yeah, I want to. I want to do the thing. All right. I'm gonna look back at Alicia and say, "Stabilize our yep. other friend." Yep. Moving to do exactly that. Moving up there and uh, attempting to stabilize. Longsword. Unsuccessfully. All right, and Thorin. All right. I'm going to draw my crossbow. And I have a nat one because Col because Edgy haunts me to this day. Okay. Well, I didn't see it. Just uh, I fire time. at the Bane on the other side of Nanny. <laughs> I'll let you know when to use it. See you, Yoda. And that's the end of my turn. One Bane he is going to take his turn turning and firing that arrow right into uh, Marcus's face. I couldn't remember your name. Nope, he missed. Flynn. All right. Ooh. Close. Marcus. Having a good time, having a good time. 17 misses. Like a shooting star shooting through the sky. I go to find the laws. Nene. Smack the crap out of it with the quarter staff. Let's see it. Staying here because why not? Okay, and then after stabilizing <laughs> Flynn, if I get demonetized because he's saying that snippet, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> him back down over here, out of the way. Okay, he's stable and moved. And then it's Thorne's turn. Another crossbow bolt. Hit. What? Much better. All right. And now it's the fist's turn. And you know what? 
you guys are singing. I, I get the impression you're bored again. I want to make sure you're adequately Bye, entertained. Eddie. <laughs> uh, so where are we sending this? Let's send it to Nanny. Mom. Let's send it to Nanny. She's blocking the way. Pow! Oh, feels bad. Didn't need it. Pretend. I am now unconscious. Clinton is stable. Marcus is still... Like Lady Godiva. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> There's no stopping me. I'm turning through the sky. Hi. 200 degrees. That's why they call me Mr. Farron. You know, thinking because he's the only one that's going to come out of this. Nanny is down. Did Alicia. Get why is her seat dead? Okay, Alicia's coming up here and attempting to stabilize. Nanny. Kill this thing, please. Oh! She starts to bleed out faster. Oh, no. Do I actually fail a death save? No. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Uh, let, let the dwarf handle this one. All right. Nanny is stable. Is that it? Yeah, that's the end of my turn. I like how their plan is just to leave everything to Marcus. But now she's going to shoot him. Oh. It's not a crit, because she has disadvantage. I'm going to but... make a supersonic woman of you. Hey, you can't sing. You're unconscious. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's almost well... like we could have been attacking him. <laughs> uh, stable. Look. Dying. The last team I let die is now haunting me from beyond the grave. <laughs> that are Let's see a spirit. death save. And there's a fail. Nanny is stable. Alicia. Oh, it all comes down to you. Toll that dead. Probably a good idea. Yep. Or cross you know with this. She's no more likely more heavily armored than she is wise. I rescind my statement. I have a nice sigh. Thorin. Have an arrow. Nope. She shouts back at you. Have an arrow. No thanks. Stable. Dying. Death save from Neo. Stable. Alicia! Turns are going real fast, it seems. It's because everybody's on the ground. Come on, Alicia. Come on, Alicia. He says a pretty wise fist. Thorin. I'm shooting with a crossbow bolt. Neo heals for six. Oh! I'm pretty sure. Wait, it's a plus three mod? It's dead. It's the end of combat. But Collect the corpses. Marcus needs to be stabilized. You're not screwed. I hate Edgy. His no, ghost haunts me. I'm gonna shove him down the stairs back towards the zombies. That was round 13. That was crazy. I think the only reason you guys survived is because you bottlenecked him there in that corner. Yep. Well, I suggested yeah. the retreat. How long are we unconscious for? Oh, too long. Let's roll Let's a stabilize dice. Stabilize Marcus. Oh, Marcus is up, right? One, one hour. Uh, uh, uh. I don't think we have an hour to sit around and wait for the cultists to break down the door. We could try. The haunted guard with the haunted dragon wormling behind. How can? How are you going to drag my body? Yeah, That's and a good yeah. And we can't carry Edgy either. Hey, I'm gonna this room has two doors on it. and see if they have anything of use in this situation. Come on, let's at least move Same into place. here and let's at least close the doors and see if we can be defended for a little bit.
All right, barring the doors with wedges and pittens and whatever else we need, and checking every conceivable space in this there's room no, to make sure there's, there's nothing no invisible. Doors. And let's shove these other right. bodies back out. We don't want them coming back to life. Oh, you saw through my dastardly plan. Oh, did I search? Was there anything of use on the fists of Bane? Actually, yes. Uh, you find that one of them is carrying a longsword that seems very finely made. Another one has a ring that seems to be made out of electrum and has a radiant magic aura. And another one, uh, they're not wearing it, but you see in their backpack, there is a, uh, it's a shimmering, shining cloak. All right, Marcus, what do you want? Uh, so the victor goes to sports. I don't think I... that anybody else here even uses a sword. I think we should get these identified before we try using them. Fair enough. Do you if, have a well, pearl. Got... All right. Yeah, I got a. I got my pearl. We got an hour identifying. to sit and wait for these idiots. I'll identify all three of them. So you're gonna attempt to take a short rest. Well, are we? Items first, then short rest, then maybe short rest. Well, unconscious. Well, not idiots, but are we waiting for the unconscious people to come back from being unconscious? Okay. Yeah. So we. The halls are here. deathly silent. You can't. It doesn't seem like there's anyone else around you. You're able to complete. Uh, I'm just gonna give it to you. You're able to complete the short rest, no problem. Although I know you're all out of hit dice. Ha ha ha. Yep. <laughs> I, say it's great I still have. Hit dice. Those of you that were unconscious wake up with one hit point, and you're able to identify the magic items. One is a ring Man, of that illusion. Been really useful. One is way a cloak of when. displacement. Uh, that it, I don't know why I didn't make this up. It's in the module, legit. But it's a cloak of displacement, and it says cannot be attuned by a paladin. I'm for real. It says it. I'm sorry. <laughs> What if they're a paladin of Bane? Admittedly, I was thinking that would probably be overkill, so I was going to reject it. Oh, you, right. you Thorne will put it on the cloak if you want. I'm just no joking. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I don't like people who do that and higher AC. It's just it's just obnoxious. Somebody else can have it. Well, I've got 18 AC. Alright, too much meta. Just... All right, and then, oh, uh, and the uh, last Thorne item puts is on just the cloak a, unless a anyone else sword. takes it. So, Thorn puts on cloak, tosses ring to Alicia, waits for unconscious people. Hmm. I mean, it's the best way, but actually think the ring of evasion probably could be really useful for Marcus, considering his deck save is Okay, horrible. you guys are, are splitting all the shit up when the rest of the party's yep. not even awake. That's not how that works. Well, so the Victor's has no trust spoils. Flynn. Besides, uh, so was the magic sword anything? I don't Plus see anything. Plus two longsword. Plus two longsword. Uh, does anybody else here even use a longsword? Nope. Not yet. Alright. I keep getting worried by Spartans. Not yet. The rest of the party wakes up with one hit point. Yay! To be fair, a cloak of displacement is not that useful on a person with one hit point, because one hit will kill them anyways. It's actually really useful on a person with a one hit point. Yeah, well, do you want it? Stop or would you rather it? I take it? Uh, well, I mean, I can... Well, I both of us can fight pretty well up front, I guess, but, you know, your armor looks a little heavier than mine, so... Alright, Thorne will take the cloak then. Uh, Nanny should be waking up. Alright, Nanny uh, is currently AFK. Well, I was, I was suggesting that I could make use of the extra defensive properties from it. Since you have heavier armor anyway. Alright, well, uh, all right, why don't whatever. we go ahead Toss and you. end the session there. You guys aren't, aren't picking up on what I'm telling you, so I'm just going to flat out tell you. Uh... It sounds quiet.
The room has two doors on it. It's very secure here. Let's take a rest. <laughs> hey, you got it! A long <laughs> rest. Yes, you guys can take a long rest. And then, Yippee! Uh, we can actually do things again. Yeah. Um, and then... Next week, we are undoubtedly cancelled. Because next week is our 24-hour Extra Life Marathon. So all of our, our regular games will be cancelled next week. Uh, but then when we come back the following week, we will be picking up right here. And then, and then, just to make and then sure. in between sessions, you guys can dick around with who gets what and why and blah, 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 blah. That's what our, our private chat is for, right? Right. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you very much. And thank you all so much who donated. It really means a lot to me. Uh, especially since all of that money helps us fund the community and with a bunch of new extra life, extra life, a bunch of new, uh, adventure league materials coming out on Monday. That's going to be really helpful. So I, I really wanted to say thank you, especially, uh, Toronto, gosh, Joey fine, Hal tone, uh, roar mobile gizmo storm, uh, and star Trek fan. Thank you all so very much for, the bits, the the subs, the donations, it really does mean a lot. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed yourself, and I will see you next time. <laughs>